So hello everybody, we're really glad and honored to be in front of you all. So TEDx is our dream event and uh, thank you for uh, listening to us. So hello everybody, I am Sanjay and uh, he's Travan and today we'll be talking about the evolution of Moby Sapiens. So we all know about Charles Darwin's theory for evolution from an uh, ape to a uh, homo sapien, what is called yesterday's homo sapien. So today what are we? We are the Moby sapiens because we are always connected and uh, we are always on Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube and uh, uh, the Gen X and the Gen Y. So Steve Jobs quoted 20 years ago uh, when he was presenting one of his ideas. So this is going to change the way people think, the way people live and the way people communicate. So but that is happening only today. So what is a basic phone? A basic phone is a device that lets two people or more communicate. So, uh, um, so this is the homing pigeon. So if there are two kingdoms and if they wanted to send messages, they used to use this. It's called the homing pigeon. So this was used thousands of years ago by kings so that they can send ma mails to the other. So this is uh, Samuel Morse. He was the person who first created the Morse code. So this is a mecha uh, electromechanical uh, uh, machine that is uh, used to communicate in a language called dit and dat. And uh, you can only send short messages in this. And people wanted to se send lengthy messages and they wanted to talk. And it was not easy for doing that. And people used to get very frustrated while sending uh, long messages and trying to talk. So then Graham's phone. As we all know, Graham Bell had invented the first phone and uh, this is a very, very easy device to use where uh, you can talk with your own voice, which was very, very um, great. And uh, this was like huge, the, ma the machine was like taking about uh, uh, eight feet, uh, eight, 19 feet tall. And then, uh, uh, then it, started, it started to shrink. Then it became smaller, smaller, and smaller, and sleeker. Then came something called the cordless phone, where at your home, you can use this, uh, and you can move and talk. So this was easy and convenient. So like, uh, but people were always on the move. Like uh, I could either talk from home or I can talk from office. But if, what if I was traveling? I need to get down, go to a pay phone and then make a call. But that was really inconvenient. And people were always on the move. So that's when came the cellular phone or mobile phone. At the time, while the mobiles were growing, at the same time the computers were growing. So then came the first computer, ENIAC. So this computer took about a one bedroom flat. It was about 30 tons and that was huge. So then the computers became, became smaller and smaller. Then came the first, compute, first personal computer, Lisa, and then uh, computers became smaller and smaller. Then came the laptops. Laptops are mobile devices. So you can carry, it's very portable in light, so I can carry it from one place to another. It's mainly for people who travel a lot. So a mobile phone, and the smart uh, and computer together form what is called the new age smartphones. So these smartphones are powerful computers. Like for example, the iPhone 5 has an A6 processor, which is about 1.6 gigahertz, which is like as fast as most of the uh, desktops we have at home. Definitely mine, but and it has lots of avatars. Not this avatar, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Lord uh, Vishnu's incarnations. So uh, he took in 10 forms in, uh, uh, in the avatara. So even the uh, uh, smartphones, they have 10 different avatars. They are like they have a full-fledged camera and they have Bluetooth. They have, a, uh, they have a proximity sensor. Proximity sensor is not used much nowadays. But we think that has a great potential. Uh, for uh, the, the, 
for the future. And uh, now uh, we have uh, something. Uh, now we can we have apps which we can also read the newspapers. Now we only uh, we have to get up in the morning and we uh, uh, drink a cup of coffee and read the newspaper. And now that is no more. We can, wherever we are, we can just go and take our mobile device and read the newspapers. And uh, now we, uh, in our normal day life, we can only have like uh, Times of India or something. But now we can even use the other, um, other um, newspapers such as the New York Times and all those stuff. And uh, you, we, it has lots of widgets such as uh, the weather widget which you can check in the uh, weather. And instead of uh, coming at exact 7 o'clock, watching the TV, writing it in a book. And same thing with stocks. You don't, um, you don't uh, need to go take a paper, keep writing today's stocks and tomorrow's stocks, check how much it has gone up or gone low. And even sports. So you can watch the sports live. And if you want, you can read the uh, news about the sports. And, uh, and you even have like uh, games of the sports, which is very, very convenient. Although my dad doesn't allow us to play games. <laughs> then mobile healthcare. So, so now two people, two million people use mobile healthcare. Like for example, the senior citizens, they have to go every week to a doctor and then check their health and then come back. So that's a problem for them because they're, they're, they're old and uh, they can't go every day or every week. So that's why when they come back, they can just use mobile health care. So on their smartphones, they can check the blood pressure, ECG, and the cholesterol and uh, blood sugar. So th this, is, this will be used for all non-emergency situations. So now when they go out, they only go for their morning jog. So map. We have an idea for the map. And it's going to be called the Go Map, which shows live traffic and pollution levels. So like in developed countries, like say the USA, they have live traffic and uh, pollution level because they, because they have such good infrastructure. The police feed in data, they have Wi-Fi, they have LTE. And uh, to get this kind of infrastructure, it takes a lot of money and time. So is this possible in India for in the near future? So in India, we can't spend that much cost or time. So we have a very simple idea. Since there are many people from uh, India who have like the new smartphones and Androids, they can go and uh, use their device and um, tell like here there's pollution or here there's traffic and it goes to something called our Go Cloud. So we used uh, something what we learned in geography or science. Like uh, uh, all the data which you give in, it like evaporates to our cloud and if there's any other device that wants the data, it comes as rain. So this is the water cycle which we learned at uh, science, and we use it. So let's show you how this app works. So once you open up our app, it shows you a map. So if you tap on the map, and then uh, it shows you three options. So if you click on traffic, then it shows you live traffic. And if you tap on it again, and click on the uh, uh, gray color cloud, then it shows you the pollution levels. And if you again tap on it and click on the report button, there's a small um, uh, thing that opens up. And you can, it finds your location. And if you click on the red light, it shows a red stream on wherever you are. Or if you even click on the black cloud, it shows a black mark wherever you are. So it finds your location. And then um, it, uh, it accordingly, when you report it, then it uh, reports that. So we basically, we're using something called crowdsourcing. So we bring in people, and people report, and then people also can uh, get back the answers. So uh, we got this little idea when we thought through. So we might be releasing this by near February or March. So the mobile. So we want to help the visually challenged. So with this, you, uh, uh, you can, like, uh, like normally visually challenged people, they use their dog or they use another uh, person's assistance for moving. So instead of that, they can actually use their mo smartphone. Uh, they can, because their smartphones nowadays have Bluetooth, infrared, and camera. So we use these three. And then we can find out like, if there's an obstacle coming. And then we accordingly tell, take a right or take a left. So this is really convenient. So this idea should be coming in about six months or so. We uh, want to release this fast and help the people.
Thank you.